Anyways, let's see. The most this out of pocket videos you may watch. You know what I'm saying? It's not because of me. It's because of what I'm finna speak this about. This is a you masterpiece. Know what I'm I usually don't make videos on allegations and stuff no more because that stuff just gets out of hand, man. And at this point, it's almost like a regular thing in the underground. So when you hear it, you're not even surprised no more. You know? And the only reason I'm speaking about this situation right here is because I didn't spoke about him plenty of different times. You know what I'm saying? In different videos. And I also made a video of him where I was just glazing him the whole time and I spoke you about all of his and music and this whole Selena kind of pregnant? Like, Selena story. Powell, I'm sure nigga? everybody knows who Jay AIDS is okay and if you don't you know he was really known in 2022 2021 and he's very known for his melodic side of music and yeah he has a cult fan base for real and there's really no point of bringing this up for real but this whole year i've kind of been hearing about him but every time i hear about him it's something happening you know what i'm saying like it's weird like one minute he's in jail then i heard his fans not really liking his music because he dropped like some rock album or something like that so he's been changing up a lot of things yeah it's just been weird for him lately so nobody been really bringing him up because he hasn't been doing anything to like really put his name out there but a few interviews you know what i'm saying and the last time i listened to him he dropped some rock albums so i wasn't really that tuned in that much but me and my chat like to keep up with him here and there because we actually did enjoy his music at one point but more to story duty why are you making this video okay so i seen something on my timeline right and not only that my dms were going crazy because uh, my supporters is telling me that jades is currently on a run for attempted meter i'm gonna just say me on november 2nd jades linked up with his ex-girlfriend at his apartment they hung out for no more than an hour when Jay started to kiss her. She was on her period and not in the mood, so she pushed him away and said no. That's when Jade grabbed a pair of scissors, a pair of box cutters and scissors, and started slicing at her. She ran into his bathroom, locked the door, and called 911. Jade ran out before the cops came and has since been on the run has been on the run ever since. I was at his house and said no to sex, and he came back into the room with kitchen scissors and a box cutter and started stabbing me and they haven't even found him yet nigga this is like some out the blue shit i'm flabbergasted and perplexed this the shit on my neck they finna charge him with attempted murder if they find him basically he kissed me and i pushed him off of me and i said no to sleeping with him he came back with scissors started stabbing me i ran in his bathroom with my phone as soon as i got away and called 911. he ran away before the cops got there he sliced my neck and there's stab wounds on my arm and my back Meter, I don't want to say murder. Right He's on a run right now, allegedly, okay? It's all alleged. Jay's team, if y'all watching this video, or y'all start trying to take down videos and message me and stuff, this is all allegedly. Somebody's messaging Jay's ex or whatever, his ex-girlfriend or his girlfriend, I don't know. But now we actually do got more context to what is happening. Uh, There's a page called Exposing Jay. So he posted a few things. He said, on November 2nd, Jay's leaked up with his ex-girlfriend at his apartment. They hung out for no more than an hour. When Jay started to kiss her, she was on her period and not in the mood. So she pushed him away and said no. And that's when Jay's grabbed a pair of box cutters and scissors and started, yeah. She ran into his bathroom, locked his door and called 911. Jay's ran out before the cops came and ever since he's been on the run so and the ex-girlfriend has proof of them being together before it even you know took place and as you can see jade's look at how this nigga's dressed is right there you know holding the cat we got some clear photos of what happened and stuff there's multiple in different places we also got a screenshot of jade's having a song where he also said i'm so horny I could you you know what i'm saying and the page that's talking to the ex-girlfriend right now they asked yo is jay's on a run right now she said yeah and she also said they haven't found him yet and the caption reads photos of the police outside the apartment and her call logs on saturday and as you can see they spoke multiple times on saturday then her last call was a 911 emergency this nigga from florida just he called hey man there is no worse character than them florida i'm different bro and then she showed proof of a policeman standing outside her door. I don't know what that is. You know what I'm saying? It might be the apartment, whatever they live at. It's on Saturday, 424 p.m. And the caption also reads, Jace is still on the run as we speak. He has yet to be found. If you are in Florida and see him, please contact 911. And I'm going to be real, bro. This is just sick, okay? Like, I don't understand why a person would do this. You know what I'm saying, gang? Damn, this CNS. is your girl. Why are you mad that she didn't want to F you? Dude, there's no reason to put your hands on a girl. No reason to do that, bro. I don't know why niggas think that's 
that's okay. It's not, you know what I'm saying? And maybe I'm just Niggas a little more queer, sensitive because, you? you know, I got little sisters and stuff like that. I got an older sister. Keep your hands to yourself, gang. And Fast. especially over something like this. Because you ain't getting no, huh, you feel me, gang? Like, what? And if y'all go look at the photos after this video, you can see it wasn't just one time on the neck or something like that or on the arm. It's multiple different areas. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, gang, why? And this might sound crazy to say, but I'm hoping this is fake or something because I can't even believe something like this. You know what I'm saying? Especially from Jay's. Like, gang, you just went from making some of the best music, being an underground rapper, to now you on a run. But like I said, Making some of the best music. I hate young niggas, man. And this is probably my age showing, but y'all niggas gas anything that sounds different, bro. Like, y'all niggas want to be different so bad, you niggas gas bullshit, bro. Like, don't get me wrong. Some of them underground artist niggas is tough, but not all them niggas is tough, bro. A lot of the niggas is trash, bro. Like... And we got to stop this, bro. Some We need more plumbers. We need more McDonald's bag fry, ba uh, fry baggers. You feel me? We need more plumbers, janitors, niggas to fucking pick up shit in parks. Yeah, we need more of those, bro. Yeah, for anybody that try to take the video down or whatever, this is all allegedly, okay? I haven't seen Jade speak on it yet. I did see a couple fan pages from Jade's messaging and stuff like that and uh, trying to get this out there and all that. But other than that, we haven't got anything else. So and I'm gonna tell y'all right now, bro, please do not message the girl or whatever and harass her and stuff like that, bro. Leave her alone. You know what I'm saying? Just pray for her safety game. You know what I'm saying? If this is real. Yeah, man, it's really sad. I don't want to make this video no longer Hi, Dora. Is, I don't want y'all saying, oh, duty, bro, you trying to get paid out of No, I don't even think I want to do an outro. Just go follow my IG, man. OMG duty. But I love y'all so much. Y'all stay blessed. Peace. Gee. Jade's has finally been caught. Happen. You know what I'm saying? Um, if y'all don't know what's going on, I'm sure if you go watch my past video, then you'll know what I'm talking about. There's an artist named Jays. And more of the story, he's an 18-year-old kid. Not a kid, but he's a grown man. A young adult. But this underground artist, right? I don't know why people trying to act like he doesn't have some type of motion going on. Yeah, he has a cult fan base. They're more low-key. He blew up about two years or three years ago, if I'm not tripping. I always used to hear questionable things in his songs, but I didn't take them serious. And maybe I should have. Because recently, he got really mad at his girlfriend for not giving up the so since he got mad, he tried to murder her. And it only got worse because the girl just started showing more and more proof. She showed photos of the police being there. She showed some pictures of her being hurt. What's like up, B2? Literally, she had wounds everywhere on her body, including her neck, okay? So, of course, this was attempted murder. But the craziest thing about this whole scenario, though, is that Jade's got away. So he was on a run, and I made a video about it. Yeah, he's in big trouble. And today, we actually got some information. You know, it's only been getting worse. But yeah, he's been caught. Now it's actually confirmed, bro. He's cooked. They got everything about him, you know what I'm saying? And there was three officers that caught him his mug shot kind of looked crazy because it looked like he got beat up real real bad you know what I'm saying? <laughs> whatever they did to him thank god he deserved it you know what i'm saying done for this mug shot is gonna be trending too and this gotta be the craziest mug shot i've seen in a long time because i didn't even know you could take a mug shot looking like this you know what i'm saying getting beat up and <laughs> like somebody's holding his head up i think he's born up. in 2005 or 2006 like, 5 10 120 male Black hair, eyes brown, Oakland Park. They caught that nigga on the 10th? Damn, they got that nigga three days ago. Dude, that's young. You know what I'm saying, bro? Like, you just messed up your whole life for what? Like, why did you do that? It's your own girlfriend. You're supposed to treat females right in general, but like, you did this to your girl game? And for all the people that's thinking it's fake, bro, it's all documents to this, bro. This is not fake or anything like that. Or you could just look this up yourself. You know what I'm saying? But hopefully, Jade's get some help. You know, they keep him in jail for a, a long time. What he did is not okay. Nowhere near okay. But yeah, I'm done, Chan. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about this whole scenario. Make sure y'all follow my Twitch. I was just live on there get recently. That Make sure y'all follow my IG. That American way off the you know what, I'm saying? what does that, that even duty. mean? But yeah, I love y'all so much. Y'all stay bless peace all right jade situation got way worse okay at the scene at around 1 30 a.m at the recent dermont's arrest warrant was put out on november 3rd and he was arrested a week later at a denny's restaurant in broward county that nigga was in broward police arrived at the scene at 1 30 a.m after receiving reports of someone at the restaurant having a mental episode and grabbing a knife when cops got there offered one officer saw dermont standing next to the table with a knife 
where he wouldn't speak or move according to an arrest report. Dermot's mugshot shows him bloody and appearing disoriented with his eyes closed and his mouth open. Receiving reports of someone in a restaurant having a mental episode and grabbing a knife. And when the cops got there, one officer saw Demont standing non? next to a table with a What's knife. What's up, no love? Speak or move according to the arrest report. Demont's mugshot shows him. Scissor hand, nigga. Bro, it's always I want to be different ass niggas. Niggas need mental help, and y'all gas these niggas to make bullshit music, bro. Nigga need to be in an insane asylum. Nigga need to go see a doctor. And y'all talking about some, he's so misunderstood. He's so different. Like, holy shit. Disoriented with his eyes closed and his mouth open. The whole Jay situation has been a huge roller coaster. You know what I'm saying? Of course, I was tapped in enough to know that he was making crazy songs where he talked about a lot of weird things. But maybe I should have paid more attention because recently Jay's did something very stupid. If you don't know what's going on, you can watch my past video. But he got mad at his ex girlfriend because she didn't want to give up the puh. So he decided, yeah, I'm going to hurt her. And it got to a point it was attempted meter. Okay. And for about two days, he was on a run. But eventually, like you've seen in my last video, he was caught and after watching that video i know a lot of y'all are confused to why i'm making this one because what is there to talk about what if i told you the situation is only getting worse but recently i was updated by tons of different underground blogs and my supporters that jays is actually being charged with first degree murder and notice how I said first degree, not attempted murder. First degree, murder. he's actually being charged with it. And if you go look for yourself, you can see that this was real. This is actually on the website. Who he smoked? They show his charges. They show everything about him. They even show where he's at specifically. So yeah. And for the people that's confused about how this went from being, you know, attempted to now it's first degree. Instead of me giving y'all the wrong information, we actually just gonna go through everything that people are saying right now because I'm hearing that he's done more things besides just attempting to kill his girl or whatever. You know what I'm saying? But somebody asked how did it go from attempted to first degree what the fuck happened somebody replied he said his friend told that she was 14 jay's account that while jay's was on some drugs he said that he killed the girl and he her. and the dude replied he said wtf and as you can see it was tons of people that asked you know he's a he's a pdf file too oh did he actually his ex-girlfriend the girl that exposed him and stuff like that but that can't be the case because i think everybody knows that she's still alive right it has to be a whole nother case that's going on or this might be the same thing i don't know but he said who knows if he actually did because like i said he was on drugs when he said it so he could have been saying nonsense and somebody said what i was thinking he said he just got charged so he obviously did but then somebody else said he's one girl and another he's and insane somebody else said they found proof and he actually did it and somebody else replied to everybody he said first degree is intentional killing of another person with premeditation deliberation or planning but i seen something where our generation music had posted jace has been charged with first degree murder, right and there was tons of people in the comments talking about the whole situation where jades had someone else he admitted to it or something like that so we gonna go ahead and check this out but someone said holy i'm reading certain places that he might have killed a separate girl and violated her someone said bro what oh my god somebody else said he ain't anyone but his friend keeps saying he r worded her he then replied and said brother i'm a criminal justice major wait for this to play out they wouldn't say murder without evidence another guy replied and said he's talking about a completely separate case he replied and said again the word murder is used when they have evidence it went from attempted to straight first degree no second and no third they definitely gave evidence then somebody replied he said you don't have to be a criminal justice major to make that conclusion pointless ad and it's just going back and forth because nobody actually knows what's going on honestly but i just seen something very controversial somebody said that you know jay should go get like some mental help and stuff like that so here's what he said he said instead of locking them up get them mental help is it not obvious he's going through things as well question mark and then he replied to himself he said not defending him by the way but he still needs a chance of saving somebody named fetty replied to him he said nah lock that up then somebody else said if he pleads insane he will be put into a mental hospital but they can't do anything without his word i think then somebody said at last his lawyer would need to prove that he's legally insane kind of hard to do but since they charging him with murder it's something he might go with but the caption reads that nigga Jay's really lost his mind. I'm glad that they put bro away. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and look at this real quick. But it's a Demont's arrest warrant was put out on November 3rd, and he was arrested a week later at Denny's restaurant in Broward County. The police arrived at the scene at around 1.30 a.m. after receiving reports of someone in the restaurant having a mental episode and grabbing a knife. And when the cops got there, one officer saw Demont standing next to a table with a knife where he wouldn't speak or move according to the arrest report. Demont's mugshot shows him bloody and appearing disoriented with his eyes closed and his mouth open. So it basically proves 
bruise theirs. Apparently, he was drawing pentagons in his friends' yards and shit, and on his body doing voodoo. Yeah, man. That's why when niggas do that upside down cross shit, and niggas be talking about some, oh, it's just you know what I mean. I'm just it's just culture or nah, nigga. You're 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 quite literally a weirdo, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you, my nigga. Like you're kind of weird, brother. Like I don't know what to tell you. I don't know if nigga thinks that like. It's more to the story, of course. We I don't know, know if niggas think that like that shit's cool or trendy, but you niggas is weird, bro. That dark aesthetic niggas nowadays, young niggas, especially young black people. Before we used to leave that shit to the white folk. Now you young niggas start doing drugs and start testing your sexuality and start letting little white boys play in y'all butts and y'all start doing all this weird shit with pentagons and a whole lot of nut shit. I need y'all niggas to stop that, bro. Like niggas, that we used to leave that weird shit to white folk. Now y'all niggas getting involved in this shit. <sighs> this is what happens, bro. It's Cardi fault? No, it's not Cardi fault. It's y'all fault for letting them people in, 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 inter interject themselves into our community. You feel me? It's y'all fault for letting you know who get involved in the rap game, and now you giving these niggas the the ability to say, "Oh yeah, this shit, this shit wavy, bruh." Nah, let me. You feel me? Niggas can't wear black fits. That he got beat up by the cops and stuff. They didn't put that in there, but yeah. Every day it seems more and more things are being. Trippy Red been doing this before Cardi. Yeah, man, we 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 gassed up uh them them whitewashed black people. Them the niggas that's be out there making all that bullshit. Added to the story. I'm not sure if it's they making be it trendy to be demonic. Yeah, so yeah bro. Like is a niggas just want to be weird, bro. You can't be normal. Cases, um, yeah, you're cooked. You're done for, gang. It's a very high chance if he's found guilty, they're gonna unalive him. And this is just a claim. Since Jade's is being charged with first degree, then this could mean that he's finding a whole different case with a whole different female that he ended up following through and hurting her and killing. You know what I'm saying? And he's also fighting a case that we all know of, which is the one recently where he wounded his ex-girlfriend. But you got some people saying that, yo, when you plan a murder, um, even if you don't kill the person, you still get charged. So nobody truly knows. All we know is that this dude is being charged right now. He's cooked and they have evidence. You know what I'm saying? Y'all let me know how y'all feel about this whole scenario right now, bro. It's actually just sad to see that an 18-year-old dude just threw his career away just like that. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I'm done chatting. Threw his career away, nigga. He had two more years, bro. Let's be real.